But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe it is guys it is i i possess the power ak jordan welcome back to the channel for you guys today i have a crown tier 5 mission dmz guide for case by case in this one we need to extract the weapon case from our mazra ashika island and building 21 without dying now this is cumulative so that means that you need to do all three without dying um, in between games so if i was to extract the one in our mazra um, and then die in building 21 i'd have to go back and extract the Almazra one again uh, so we're going to start off with the bomb maker uh, weapons case. I know you guys are probably familiar, um, but I just want to be thorough with my guides. Uh, so for that, to gain access to the Tasuki Castle hideout, you either need the key or you need to destroy the wheel sin and then hack it. Uh, we're just going to open up the front door and wipe out all the enemies that will come flooding out of that. And then we're going to make our way up a level, um, heading up to the third floor, just destroying all the enemies and traps like the proximity mines, the sentry guns, the claymores, um, and diffusing the tripwire grenades. So once you get to these stairs, the bomb maker is just going to be in the top right hand corner. Go ahead and kill him and any other enemies. Uh, we're going to pick up the weapons case, and then I just wanted to show you um, what a death actually is that doesn't count. Um, so if you go down like this and you can revive yourself with a self res or have a teammate revive you that doesn't count as dying that just counts as a down uh, so you actually have to fully die um, to the point where you drop your backpack and can be looted uh, for it to actually count as a death uh, so you can go down you just can't die um, so with the weapon case in hand just remember that for it to count you do need to extract uh, once you guys have extracted with the weapons case without dying um, the checklist mark will appear and you guys will be ready to move on to the next one So the next one we're focusing on is the building 21 weapons case uh, for that you will need building 21 to be live uh, and also have a key card to gain access uh, once you're inside what we need to do is head to the bottom floor and look for this room here called the data center uh, it's essentially a room full of servers so it's very easy to spot uh, and what you want to do in here is just look around on one of these servers for a prompt to hack the security system uh, once you know where it is it's always in the same spot just know that when you start a bunch of enemies are going to spawn uh, once you guys have done that you'll actually gain access to this room here the armory now uh, this is on the top floor so you just want to run around and off one of the side areas of the hallways on the laboratory floor you're going to notice that there's a room called the armory inside we need to hack the safe and pick up the weapons case inside uh, just be aware running up here there is a wilson uh, and that will shred you so either destroy it or avoid it with the weapons case in hand we need to make our way to one of the elevators to extract uh, just remember that you cannot die um, if we died in here we would have to go back and collect the ashika island one um, so you know come in with a team or solo and just have some good prep and anyway once you guys have extracted with this weapons case we'll move on to the last one the last one we're going to be focusing on guys is the juggernaut on our Mazra. Um, so what you need to do is just make your way over to the weapon case symbol wherever it is on the map. Uh, I suggest doing a intel contract close to the jug as it will actually pinpoint his location. Uh, just because in these areas there are a lot of T2s and T3s. Um, and we just want to focus on killing the jug uh, if you headshot him he is not very strong I actually managed to jump up on a platform and kind of glitched him out uh, once you've killed him pick up the weapons case and make your way to an exfil point um, if you don't want to do that I suggest doing these rescue hostage contracts as they call in a kind of personal exfil helicopter um, because sometimes players knowing you have the case will just camp the exfils uh, just be aware that when you have the case on you in any of these maps you will be uh, kind of have a pinpoint location on the map for everybody to see um, so just be careful as we see here with our um, own personal helicopter we still had enemies tracking us and anyway guys once you complete all three without dying uh, you will have completed the mission. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We're nearly at 600 subs. You guys have been amazing. I do really appreciate it. Um, and with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Keep it real, guys. Peace. Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hold
Will you fucking fight back?